Good morning, guys. Um, it is Friday, and today we take um, Hazel back to the vet for her booster shot for the distemper, I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, so um, first thing this morning we had to do, we had to give her her shot of gabapentin, so I did that, and she's not happy with me. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it doesn't taste good. I mean, the vet told me that it doesn't that she wasn't gonna like it. It's got like a bitter taste to it. But so I've given her her shot of uh, of medicine in her mouth. It's just an oral one. And um, now I'm just waiting for that to kick in because her appointment's at nine thirty. It is currently seven thirty. So we've got that done. Hopefully that kicks in well enough so that when we get to the vet, she's nice and calm and relaxed, and it goes quickly. So hi, Pebbles. Good morning. Good morning, Tara Todd. What are you guys doing on my counter? Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to say good morning to you guys and make a little video because every time we take them to the vet, we do a little video and kind of give you guys a little rundown of what we do. So hang on one second and I am going to get you Hazel real quick. Okay, so there's Hazel right now. She is sitting in the back window. As you can see, that what she's sitting on, I have like a carpet thing in the window. You can see all the hair on it. Listen, we got the living room and the entryway and everything done. And look at my window from these guys sitting in the window all the time. Oh my god. Ugh. So obviously I have a lot of work to do down back here. But for right now, she's sitting in the window. She's just kind of hanging out. We're letting the gabapentin take effect. And um, I'm going to walk upstairs real quick and show you guys where. Ugh. We'll get the we'll get the carrier quick. And we'll say hi to everybody along the way. Hello, Choo Choo. Good morning, pumpkin. Good morning, guys. Good morning, babies. Getting water. Go babies. Polly's over here finishing up the last of the food in the bowl. Hi, Lulu. Hi, little Lulu. So let's go upstairs. Hi, Oswald. And we will get the carrier. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, like I said before, it always worries me to give them, I don't know, it, it's, it's always worrisome to give them these medications that are going to make them groggy because I'm always worried about it. But like I said, I did some, some research. Hi, princess. Good morning, Sherlock and Amber are both sitting up here. <laughs> Hi, Amber. You can't barely see her because of the light. I know. I'm sorry. And Tear Tot. And here comes Lulu chasing us. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to grab the carrier quick. They're kidding. I know. Hello. I know. I'm getting it. Oh, come on. There is a TV in my way. <sighs> sorry, guys. I know. Bad, bad video taping. Okay, so we've got the carrier, which you guys have pulled the blanket out of. I'm not sure why you, why you guys do that, huh? Why are you guys pulling the blanket through there? You little goonballs. Ugh. I think they pull the blanket through there because they can smell, like, the vet clinic and the other kitty on there, and they're like, oh, we want to know what that smell is. So then they pull the blanket through the holes because they're goofballs. Okay, so we've got our carrier, and she's got her medicine. And this is kind of like... I'm just going to walk you through what happens when I got to take somebody to the vet in the morning. Yeah. And this is the fun thing. Good morning, Figuo. Good morning, Tiny Whiny. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Hunkins. So, yeah. So, like I said, got everybody fed. Got myself up and dressed. Got medicine into Hazel. And now we get the carrier. And I usually take the carrier and I just set it here in the front entryway. And I just let it sit there until we're ready to go. Um, it's a little bit chilly out today. I mean, it's not cold, cold, but it's a little bit chillier. So I will be, um, I will be starting the car and letting the car warm up a little bit before we take off. But yeah, so this is what a morning's like. Hey, Oswald, 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 you're on camera. Can you behave? He's just, he's staring at a Bagheera. He's, oh, he's just infatuated. Good morning, Marcel. Good morning, honey. And I know you can't. Okay, so just so you guys see, I want to show you guys this. So, <clears throat> like I said yesterday, I actually had so much fun with that spin mop. And I cleaned the floors, scrubbed the floors, everything. And, I mean, I pulled everything out. I pulled everything out from the walls. If you can see, because this is one of those few times, I will, I will zoom in on this. But I pulled all this stuff out. I scrubbed the baseboards. There's nothing underneath there anymore. Because the hair walls always get around the edges of the, of the room. And there, I pulled the seat out and I shook that off and got a little bit, you know, I don't know, fluffed up a little bit again. So now Marcel's nice and comfy. Good morning, Feline. 
But just so you see, I'm gonna get this down on the floor. I scrubbed this floor, but if you look, you can see how they drag things around the floor. So I just scrubbed this yesterday morning, and so you see, I've got a, I got a sweep and mop again today, which is fine by me because the spin mop is so much fun, I will do it. <laughs> but yeah, so let's say hi to everybody, or finish saying hi to everybody. Good morning, Perfect. Perfect, get in, good morning. She's so not having it right now. And good morning, Silva. Good morning, Mittens. Good morning, Marbles. Yes, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Doodles. Are you sitting on the, on the couch now? Good girl. And Fleen Fleen. Good morning. I know, good morning, beautiful. Good morning, Tear Tot. So yeah, so this is just part one. I will um, continue this video when we go to the vet or when we get in the car and then when we get to the vet clinic and everything, just so I can walk you guys through what we do when we go to the vet and how things go. Hello, pumpkin. Hello. Yep, so. See you in a second. All right, guys, here we are. We are at the vet clinic. <laughs> we literally just walked in the room, and I let Hazel out of the out of her little carrier, and of course, she goes right into there. She loves that spot here, <laughs> and I love the fact that they have that for the kitties. So we are just waiting for the vet to come in so we can do her booster shot. How you doing, honey? How you doing? How you doing, pumpkin? How you doing, Hazel bud? I know. You're doing so good, honey. Yes, you are. You Oh, sniff, sniff, kiss. Oh, thank you. Hazel gave sniff sniff kiss. Yes, I know. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, pumpkin. Yes, you are. Oh, she's coming in. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are. We are home from the vet. Hi, Hazel Butt. As you can see, she is nice and relaxed. She did really good at the vet clinic, but she now has had her rabies shot, her distemper shot, and her distemper um, booster which um, lucky for us, like I said before, um, the area I live in has been very, very fortunate to get a lot of grants. So actually the distemper shots are all free right now um, and the boosters. So we did that. Hello, Tear Todd. How are you doing? Is that your spring? Okay. Um, but as you can see, Hazel's gabapentin is really kicking in right now. She, um, she was, uh, the gabapentin is meant to just kind of get them relaxed for the ride to the vet, for being at the vet, but it really starts taking effect when they get home and they start getting comfortable again. So as you can see, she likes laying in her little sunbeam and that's what she's doing right now. And, uh, she's adjusting just fine. I expect she's going to sleep for quite a while this after this morning and, uh, whatever before, you know, the gabapentin wears off. Cause last time she had a smaller dose and she was out cold for a, a good two hours. So we'll see how long this takes to get off of her this time. Cause she got a little bit higher of a dosage just to make sure that she was okay. So yeah, now we are gonna go and we're gonna spend some time cleaning in the kitchen and getting that all ready for date night tonight. So hopefully we see you guys there. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And we will be going to the vet again on May 7th. And until then we should be good to go. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.